Following President Ruto's call for amendment of the House standing orders to allow cabinet secretaries to take questions from the floor of the House, the parliament leadership is on course to make it a reality. On the third day of the cabinet retreat, representatives of the two houses were tasked with briefing the head of state on his proposals and according to Majority Leader Kimani Ichungwa, this should happen by latest early March. We have begun the process, as Kimani Ichungwa has mentioned, the, of amending our standing orders. Of course, these sessions will be presided over by the Speaker. The reason why we want the Speaker to do this is that uh, in Parliament, the Speaker is uh, like the Supreme Court. Once he's made a determination, it's final. There's nowhere else to appeal. First batch of cabinet secretaries then shall appear and reply to questions either during the last week of February or the first week of March. Uh, this year in the National Assembly. Again, to thank our uh, members of the legislature for providing uh, the opportunity for, pub, for national government uh, cabinet secretaries to be able to come to the floor of the House so that we can explain uh, the, the uh, government policy, explain uh, government interventions answer your questions. The leadership of the House has already developed a framework under which the cabinet secretaries will be queried. Among the guiding principles is that the CS will only appear on matters of great public interest and on matters government policies. It has to be a matter of government policy to a question of great national importance. Of course, we don't expect that when you come, a member will just shoot up and say, hey, uh, my neighbor's cows are missing, your minister for internal security, Kindiki, where are my cows? Or things like that. It has to be a matter of great national importance. So you see, we are, we, we, we are also providing a cover for you as a cabinet minister so that when you appear, there are things that are of good order to you. We have now provided a channel and uh, uh, the office of the prime cabinet secretary will be seized of that responsibility. The state department will be executing uh, that uh, responsibility. The last time a government official faced the House in answering questions was during the Prime Minister's question under the Grand Coalition Government and the President is keen on ensuring accountability in his government. I said we want to run an accountable government and we want the oversight role of Parliament to be manifest in our government that uh, the role assigned to parliament by the constitution must be real and must be effective. The DP Rigathi Gashagwa emphasized on the need for good relationship between leaders and his cabinet. These chairs are people you need to know. We have been there with them. They are quite powerful people. They can make life quite easy for you. And on the same page, they can make it a little bit difficult. So you need to know them and engage them and get to know them. Ruto is making assurances that the sibling rivalry between the two houses will be solved, enhancing service delivery. But in a warning to departments involved in court tassels, President Ruto says that those with cases must settle them out of court. He says that the government incurs unnecessary spendings over the litigations. Any government agency that decides to take another government agency to court, whoever are responsible for the court matters, they will pay using their own money. I will not accept government resources to be used to pay lawyers for one government agency to take another government agency to court. The office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary will act as an intermediary between the government and the House. As the three-day retreat comes to a close, President William Ruto insists that the coordination between the two arms of government, the legislature and the executive, are crucial to service delivery. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nanyuki, Laikipia County.